vid on YouTube. I'm planning to release them though. I just I want to make sure that I'm vetted for the music before they get released. Is is what the delay is to be honest. Anyway, we're starting episode two. Thanks for being here. As we prepare for episode two, which I hear is actually like landmark episode within uh, within like Life is Strange. That's how I write as well. I just write a, a word and then I circle it and put a bunch of lines next to it. And then if anybody, it, it doesn't really do much for me, but it does uh, make other people think I'm smart or alternatively I'm reading declassified CIA documentation. One of the two. Does NL like Warren or no? How could I not like Warren? I thought he was kind of like... He was putting on airs a little bit, and yet at the same time, I was like, he took a bullet for Max, basically. How can you not like Warren to start with? Warren is low T. Warren's the worst. How, though? Oh, they're, they're pulling a Kentucky Route Zero at the start of this. You could actually just sleep in bed for a little longer listening to the music. But you know what? We got... We got places to be, people to meet. What's Warren? Just because Warren's nice, he's a jerk? This is the problem with the United States of America, man. You're so worried about looking like a man, you act like a little baby. Thanks, Mom. See, we made our bed because it took one button press. Turn off the music, please. Thank you. It would be fun to get some peeps together and play a real game, instead of drama games. Is this, uh, Magic the Gathering? Mystic enchantment cards. He's a nice nerd, we don't like nerds, we're too busy playing computer games. Um... Mom. Hey honey, I hope you didn't forget to water the plant we gave you, but don't drown it either. Oh, is this her telling me that we should not, uh... We should not water it today, because we might give it too much water. I don't know. I'll probably still water it. Don't get high like in my room. On my way. You are evil. 40 minutes or Even else. With all this crazy shit going on, it is so cool having Chloe back in my life again. Like no time Water it? Passed. Don't water it? I could rewind for days and read all of these books. Will I really find any insight into my power? It just seems like a smart idea, honestly. That's the only tourist picture I let them take of me at the Space Needle. I remember. Watch out, there's a shooting star in the background! It's gonna get you! You can't water the plant because it's grass. Oh, that explains it. Okay, well, we were we were doing some stuff. We might want to use our laptop Warren just for a little bit. Blowing up my inbox now. Hey, Max, the doctor is in the house. I've been thinking long and hard about your weird request. I just sent you a bunch of physics and science links, and without further ado, here's a few time travel films you must see. I'll send more as they come to mind. The doctor expects a full explanation of your newfound chrono interest. The time machine, the 1960 version. Okay. Primer. Lo-fi time travelers in Dallas. Brilliant. I'll explain it to you after you watch it. It's mansplaining, Warren. You're being a nice guy. Primer's a great film. It's actually one of my favorite films of all time, probably. The way you said I'll explain it to you after you watch it, a little offensive. Time after time, never seen it. Pulp Fiction, classic. I would say not really time travel, more like a Rashomon sort of thing. But anyway, see you later, Warren. This is so insane. It sounds logical to me. Time travel is not just science fiction. Yeah, definitely. Join the chrononauts. This wormhole thing makes total sense, but doesn't... I would say this is some crazy shit, but now I'm not so certain. Any article Should or I petition see? with that picture is some crazy shit. Thanks, Victoria. I always wanted to be a Max meme when I grew up. She'll Max spread that shit meme. Everywhere. Is that the Ikea monkey? And I thought I was into Halloween. Dina okay, is not fair enough. Around. Halloween party. Whew. I could get lost doing time. Whew. I could get Everyone lost. Everyone spam and look out the window. Research. Look out the window. Me and the search engine have become one. I admit, this is hilarious, but I shouldn't sink to Victoria's bully. Let me run something by you? Why not? Sometimes you gotta fight fire with fire. See the thing is I'd like to look out the window. Um Well let, let's water the plant. It's earned it. Drink up. It's got electrolytes. No! 
Don't, first off, don't quote Idiocracy, but also, don't put Gatorade into the plant. You are correct, Chad. I think we should, we should go super back and not water the plant. Exactly, it, it has what plants crave. Why can I not look out the window? <sighs> Whatever. I could get lost doing time travel research. Me and the search engine have become one. If only I could... Great use of time travel, exactly. Uh, it's my diary. Until I can figure this out, I better stay on the down low with stuff and focus on my classes. Warren sent me a, a text asking for his flash drive back, even though I haven't had a chance to check out all the cool f shows and films on there. I watched a few episodes of Doctor Who and X-Files, binged on Full Metal Alchemist, then Faster Pussycat Kill Kill, all kinds of Amazon women, black and white, badassery. Tetsuo, a total cyberpunk trip with amazing visuals, and Scott Pilgrim for about the millionth time. We just focused on homework. Chad thinks, or NL thinks... Victoria should be bullied, but Warren's a nice guy. Yo! Okay, Victoria now. does deserve to be bullied. She was bullying me. She fired the first shot. Warren has st oh. stepped on a hand grenade for us. Warren's a good dude. Gordon, seriously, do not forget I need those papers before tonight. Like, now. Thanks, Sherry. Yeah, of course. Where's, where's the shower caddy? I'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon. I am so on it. You're supposed to take the shower caddy with you? Oh, she has it. It's just... It's, it's invisible. That's okay. Oh, I see. Top right. Top right, we're carrying it. Ow! Yo! Extremely not cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna speak to her. How's it going? So you you don't want to talk? You okay, Alyssa? Immature assholes. Sorry, Max. I'm not feeling social right now. You think we can rewind and stop her from getting hit by the the can? Do you think perhaps our pursuit of perfection is what's going to lead to us uh, eventually messing things up? Um, eventually messing things up in the world. Get Alyssa, warned. Can you stand over there? Um. Okay, Max. If that makes you happy. Wow. Now that was close. Thank you, Max. Nice. See, we have to learn that humanity. It isn't what it is without our faults, dude. And and that includes the hard times. As much as I am loath to admit it, so. You know, by, by constantly rewinding in search of perfection, we're going to find that perfection actually gets further away as opposed to getting closer like you might expect. What are you writing there? Is, is she listening to Centerfold? Great song. Look, it's bright outside. I have noise complaints all the time, dude. But if it's bright outside and it's like after 9 a.m., you can play the music. Maybe not so loud and not with the door open, but come on. Are you? I'm not trying to get into your business. You're almost psychic. I felt like you knew everything. Is that Lil Wayne? By the way, the best and biggest news of the day is that Trevor asked me to the Halloween shindig. That's awesome, Dana. At least we're showing our faces together in public. So you absolutely should go with us. Borrow one of my outfits and come as a cute geek couple with your bitch Warren. Wow! Uh, I'm not big on cosplay. Don't let life pass you Don't by. Don't call my love interest a bitch! So, are you coming to the party or not? We should go to the party for sure. Be Why social. Fuck not? If I hate it, I can always go back to my room. That's the spirit, Max. After this, you'll be ready for a raid. Aren't you it does disregard? Sound like now I have to go contemplate my party future. I thought it said make contraceptive pills. Hmm. Hmm. Speaking of Halloween, look at all this makeup. At least Dana knows how to use it. Well, that's fine. We don't need to put on the outfit right now. Ooh, Trevor's jacket's Trevor is here. Trevor's making himself comfortable. See, there's Thanks absolutely no boys questions. allowed. See, based on the sign there. Hey, Brooke. Oh. Hi, Max. It's Drone Lady. 
Did you see the freak snowfall yesterday? I was riveted by that weird snow flurry yesterday. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Um, since I'm a science noob, I was wondering if you could explain it. I'm serious. Even meteorologists can't explain that snow. I bet Warren can. Did you talk to him yet? What do you mean you bet Warren can? Is he like the world's youngest meteorologist? I will later. Lucky you. I'm sure he'll track you down, Max. I'll see you around. Hello, Juliet. Hey, Max. Did you check out Kate's hot video yet? Yo, you shouldn't talk about her like that. That's so not cool. I didn't get wasted on camera and get busy with the Vortex Club. Kate's not like that and you know it. Really? Check her out and tell me what she's like. Do you believe everything you see? Like Zachary sex? Yeah, people? exactly! Okay. Now I feel like an ass. Yo, Max Thanks is like self-righteous but for a good reason. What did you do about Victoria pulling that crap? Juliet Nothing will remember that. Yet. My mind works in devious ways too. Glad to see you're back in action. You have a good heart, Max. And I won't watch Kate's video anymore. Or pass it on. Nicely done, Juliet. Thanks, Juliet. We're sure. making positive Talk changes. Good, clean entertainment. Alright, so we've solved a lot of problems. Let's we earned it. Let's go ahead to the showers. You should not be barefoot in this bathroom. I'll tell you that right off the bat. Hey, Kate. How are you doing? I'm here. Thanks again for standing up for me yesterday. It's the Anything least I could do after seeing all of the possible outcomes Anything. and then rewinding time to Let choose the ideal issues. one. Doesn't everybody here? By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of The October Country? I will give you your book. Oh. Yes, of course. If you great so get far. your haircut to be more fitting a modern style, a please. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely. I'll bring it by later. Okay, don't forget to bring back her book. She's very delicate right now. This should be like a puzzle in and of itself, dude. I never know how to make a, an unfamiliar shower work. That's true, she did not bring a towel. That's a problem. Kate, could you pass me a towel, please? What's up, Kate? School. That's it? That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh my god, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> You're going to be sorry someday. Oh, boo hoo. Victoria still hasn't washed all the slut. paint off I'm her sure face. She had fun. Looks like it. I know Nathan hooked her up. And you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. So I hate Victoria, but I definitely hate uh, the second in command way more. Because she's selling out for like nothing. She doesn't even get, she gets like the runoff social cred. At least Victoria's the, the top lioness in the pack. Mr. Jefferson knows I'm going to win the Everyday Heroes contest. He thinks Max is a joke. She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. You hey, know there's somebody in the so shower right now, right? right? Anyway, the shower's on. There's like eight people who live in this dormitory. Chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. I love it. She actually doesn't love it. She hates herself deep down inside. She just feels the social pressure. She can't <laughs> get away from the hierarchy, and she's reaping the benefits right now. That's it. Well, obviously we have to delete that. And by delete, I mean erase. Putting on the same clothes again, huh? I guess it's, we didn't bring a towel, so. I better right. get dressed than go give back Kate's. Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. Absolutely. Use the sink, you know, wash your hands. You just put lipstick on it. 
sorry. Well, you can't run I the forgot. sink in the shower at the same time? Oops. I forgot about the water pressure. What was this place built like? 1800s? Wow, can we like erase this as well? All right, so I feel like we've learned um, that there's water pressure, which might be important for some kind of, you know, interaction later in the episode. So, if, you know, we can always just turn on the sink and stop the flood or something. I don't know. It doesn't really make sense. No fucking way. This is not why I came to Blackwell. Can you lock your door when and you I go to the shower, to please? This crap up after I find Kate's book. Crappy artist, filthy whore. It's like a terrible environment to send your child to. So, like, definitely, like, erase Victoria, it. Victoria, of course. That's what I get for making fun of her. Bitch. Oh, there's no locks on the door. That seems safe. All right, let's find this book. Kate could really use this right now. Papers, search. And nothing here. My desk is a pigsty, but I know it ain't there. Seems like a huge con security concern to not have locks on the doors. Ta-da. I do love a clean room. Very zen. Keep calm Except and carry on. Except for that bullshit graffiti. Yeah. Well, I mean, get dressed, sure. Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week. And he couldn't even rewind time. Well, you don't know that, actually, do you? Why don't you rewind time to, like, you know, 1928 and see if he can travel through time as well. Yeah! Oh. Of course she just spilled soda on Kate's book. Well, I mean, that's like... Better fix this fast. Kate needs the book, and I don't want to add to her list of problems. Correct. That's good. You're, you're good. Go get the... You gotta move the glass. Be gone, foul soft drink. You can just drink it. I never oh, leave, I like, a, a half-open... Or half full cup around anywhere. When I get a liquid, now it's I can gone. I finally take this back to Kate before I'm late. As if I have to worry about being late anymore. I do have all the time in the world now. Oh, private number text. Keep your smart mouth shut about everything or I'm coming for your ass. I know where you sleep. Well, that's scary. Oh, shit. Now I'm Agreed. getting Agreed. Probably from Nathan. Ends. Nah, yeah, first off, Nathan. I erased this last it could week. Be anybody. I better be doubly careful around here, or I could be... Kate? You in there? Yes, I'm here. Come in, Matt. It's Warren? <laughs> He's using the dentist system? <laughs> it's, that's a terrible joke at this time. Uh, hey, Kate, I brought your book. Max, why did you step in between David and me yesterday? I hate bullies. David Madsen should know better. Yeah. I was hoping he would. But it's nice to see that you care about me. Kate. I'm not I urinating. I'm pouring more care. coffee. So, what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. David is the, the, the security well. guard, right? Yeah, right. Why does he think that? Because he saw the video. You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. She was dosed. It doesn't sound like you. I can't see you partying with Victoria. I didn't. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine, and then I drank water. Not enough to get wasted, is it? I don't get wasted. Unless your mouth. Ever. 
I take a sip at church and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember... I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. You're right, it is a little unrealistic to have red wine at a college party, but... Nathan Prescott? Oh, shit. He was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. He's the opposite of nice. What next? All I recall is driving for a long time. And I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp Exactly. In, in, in college, you always drink Rieslings and, and Zinfandels. Never red wines. And? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean. No, nah, this is an important step. Jesus it's an uncomfortable Kate. conversation. I'm sorry. But now that this ugly event this is, is out in the light shit. of day, we can start to uh, work past it. I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. Now she knows that we're like a we have a sympathetic ear so we can like we can work with it. Help rectify so the situation. Can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. No problem. Should I go to the police? Go to the police. Uh you should go to the police. I mean, you should probably... Can I hit X and B simultaneously? I think both of these are important, but uh, let's... Let's start by going to the police. Yes, you should definitely go to the police, Kate. I totally believe every word you say. Nathan Prescott is truly dangerous. Bless you, Max. I will go to the police. And also Principal Wells. With you as my backup witness, they'll have uh, to take it seriously so now. So, see, backup the problem witness? is, well, I don't I mean, have any proof. I you okay, okay, no, 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 no. We're still just spoiled punks. To we, we gotta, to we gotta go back. Properly. We gotta get some proof first, and then go to the police. We need to be very careful here. Why? Careful of what? Nothing, except the Prescotts are a powerful family. I hope this won't backfire on us. That's all. Even though that rich bastard has earned some serious bad karma. He'll get it. We gotta go back. We gotta Time go back. Out, Max. You actually told Kate to go to the police and the principal. After getting a scary text threat. Now the police will definitely drag you into this shit. I'm trying to think. If we rewind, will we actually be able to look for proof and then rewind past that point? Live with your choices? The whole game is about not living with your choices. It's about the folly of searching for a perfect existence. Okay, we're just gonna we're gonna snoop first. Kate's room is usually immaculate. For her, this must be a pigsty. Maybe Kate has a split personality. Church girl by day, party monster by night. I don't buy it. Kate even makes notes in her Bible. Come to me, all you My who are weary and burdened, and I will give church. you rest. I had nothing to rebel against. I don't know what to believe now. Damn, it's the all-American zombie family. Yo, that's pretty rude given the gravitas of the circumstances right now, Max, but uh, more power to you, I suppose. 
almost forgot what Kate looks like when she smiles. Ouch. She left out amnation. No spirit or devil could have prepared me for what you have done in that videotape, and like a Jezebel, you released your harlot image before God's eye. I will pray with my church for your soul to be saved from eternal hellfire. Love, Auntie Marsh. Wow, she got out of the good stationery for that one. What an asshole. That is the cutest bunny ever. I bet Katie's a good mommy. Do whatever you want to the people, but goddamn you don't nod. Do not harm that rabbit. He has done nothing wrong. I had no idea that Kate ever hung out with Alyssa and Stella. That's a lot of tears. She's going to go through bo Kate really has a doting father. And the light shines in darkness, and the dark darkness comprehended it not. It's amazing how these quotes from uh, 2,000 years ago still hold so valid. Kate's art is perfect for a children's book. Everything looks so fun and colorful and positive. Why did she cover up the mirror? She can't look at herself? Her parents are on that Binding of Isaac shit? Absolutely true. Kate is all alone dealing with this video bullshit. Your father and I just received a rather disturbing call from her. Principal Wells about you and some party video. Our concerns about sending you to Blackwell seem justified. Well, to be honest, kind of true. Please call us after your classes this evening so we can fully discuss this matter. We hope you haven't brought shame on you or your family. We'll pray for you and expect you to pray for forgiveness. Your mother. Wow. Okay. Kate used to play the violin every morning. She stopped last week. Now, all she needs is a sympathetic ear, and nobody can even give that to her. Everybody instead is just saying you're bringing shame on your family. Good lord. This must be Kate's H.R. Geiger period. D.A.E. Alien. Um, all right. We, we gotta look for proof, but don't take me saying we should look for proof as a sign that I don't believe you, okay? We can make this happen. So, Max? Can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Should I go to the police? We can always rewind, so we might as well check what the consequences are for Look for Proof. If you do that, they won't believe you. You're on video grabbing at all, all those right. guys. Alright, it's probably not the most tactful way to explain it. Bad. But I know I was drugged. That's what you have to prove, not them. I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. Yo, we don't need that explanation right now, Max. Exactly You're not handling this tactfully. You feel so hopeless. No, no, Kate. I just don't want you to get hurt anymore. That seems impossible at this point. Charisma stat. So that's your answer? Absolutely below where it needs to be to pass this persuasion check. I help you, but not right now. So I can walk down the halls with people calling me a viral slut. Thanks, Max. All right, so that's gonna be a rewind and a half. That it made me sad to hear that. I agree. That's why I think like, Good and job, I don't think this is bad writing, but she didn't like what I had to say. they kind of uh, proof of what happened. They forced a false dichotomy on us by forcing us to choose look for proof or go to the police. Go to the police. We'll build a case Jesus, simultaneously as they're doing their investigation. If Kate wasn't out of it and is actually telling the truth. So, Max? Okay. Go to the police. She needs the support yes, right now more than she needs the, the logic, to be honest with you. And that totally it happens sometimes in life. Say. we got to be a good Nathan friend. Prescott it's more important for us dangerous. to be a good friend than to I be your lawyer Max. right now. I will go to the police. And also Principal Wells. With you as my backup witness, they'll have to take us seriously now. Backup witness? Well, I mean, I believe you in everything, but we're still just spoiled punk students to the cops and faculty. Anyway, we've, we've gone through this dialogue. So she's like, she's a little cheese. She's like, you know, I'm still dis despondent, but not as bad. Not as bad. 
and Eld is showing empathy when he destroyed Megaton. Well, the difference is, and you might, you know, there's there's drama in this game. There's even melodrama in this game. There's no question about that. Yet at the same time, Megaton was like, hey, Smoonskin, I'm an outlaw who moved here. Don't blow me up. Kate is like, a, she's a well-rounded character going through some seriously human drama right now, and I want to help her out. Chloe. No emoji! That's not an emoji, Chloe. Megaton deserved it? Yeah, absolutely true. Alright, so we've spoken to these people. I think we're ready to leave. I mean, maybe we could talk to Juliet again. I'm just paranoid that we're gonna miss out on something pivotal, but... Yo, it's the morning. Really not a morning person. Taylor is no doubt being led around by Victoria. Right, I shouldn't talk to her. Usual. Just look in the trash. Samuel truly is a weirdo. But he is great at cleaning up. Alright, I think we played that okay. I can live with my decisions there. Despite the consequences. You woke her up, rewind. Dude, she deserves to be woken up right now. It's a beautiful morning, class has begun. Oh, take a photo of that, obviously. The birds are flocking around Samuel. We Samuel needs some human empathy as well. He's the long lost Sedine triplet. Hey Samuel, you're up early. Oh, hello young Max. I wish I you wouldn't talk like that. You should use a lot less adjectives it's in your gone. natural dialect, Samuel. And I can feel the animals waking up with me. So, what did you think about that freak snow shower? Young Max. Another message from the Earth to get our shit together. I will say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. Okay, Samuel's woke. That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. The squirrels always come in the morning for food. I can hear them whisper. Okay, that's... What animals do you see in the forest? Don't laugh, but I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me. Like it was trying to communicate. Oh, that's your spirit animal. Nothing weird there except you saw yours. Could be a sign about your destiny. What do I know? My spirit animal is a squirrel. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Yeah, that's a polite way of, of saying, you see you later, squirrel boy. He, I mean, he seems harmless enough, but he talks very menacingly. Um, that's not necessarily his fault. It's old Austin. Uh-oh, what's going on in here? I can see that Samuel's concerned, but... How did Samuel get photos of Rachel posing? Oh, they're trying to set it up like Samuel did something to Rachel, but I don't buy it. I don't buy it for a second. I've never seen Samuel wearing shades. And what's with the Sunglasses? Celebrate? He must be a murderer. I refuse to buy it. Not because he seems like a, a, a particularly moral, or for that matter, amoral individual. Or immoral. But, I think it's it's... My experience in fiction tells me that it's way too easy for... Samuel's got to be Boo Radley. He's got to come save us at the last minute or something, possibly sacrificing himself. Samuel really should keep this locked. It's a waiting accident. And too easy to sneak into. Can't take the axe or the saw. Got some Dead by Daylight stuff going on here. This is to kill a mockingbird. I'm telling you. Hey, Taylor. Hi, Taylor. Why would you even talk to me after the shit you pulled yesterday? I just kind of want to level with you. Like, can we... If you and I could bond, I think that would really help us out. Because I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to make Victoria's life a living hell. I'm going to ruin her socially, emotionally, psychologically. She will be a husk of a human being. Or we could avoid all that. And, you know, you could be my girl on the inside and, and kind of patch things up. But that's up to you. I don't want to fight with you or Victoria. Instead of smack talk... Let's just talk, for once. You're funny. Well, I'm not doing anything at the moment, so talk. Well, I'm not gonna like it, but sure, let's talk. Okay, um... Let's, let's get in by talking about Victoria first. Why do you hang out with Victoria? She's pretty mean to you and Courtney. 
And she's bossy too. Look, you don't know her. I do. And she's one of the best friends you could have. I guess I've had mean, bossy best friends too. Better than having mean, bossy parents. I would love it if my mom was mean or bossy instead of sick. There we go. Whatever. We're in. We got a little thread. Time to pull on it. Can we talk a little bit more? Conversation over. Okay, no, no, no. Okay, she she revealed too much information accidentally. She let us in. We get to keep our information as we move into the next section. That's fine. Okay. Hi, Taylor. Why would you even t Yeah, okay. So now, um, we needle that information a little bit. I've heard that you're It's a Dan Giesling simulator. I'm so sorry. What, what happened to her? Well, if you do care, my mom had back surgery. Victoria was there for me. Like you are for Kate. I'm not about tearing people down, Max. All right, okay, I, I can see that. That's why I wanted to talk. I'm glad we did. Boom, good enough. I think we're, we're in now. I kind of want to ask about the videotape as well. Like, I think we'll go back here. We, we can always glean more information by going back and asking about the videotape, and then we'll leave the Hi, conversation Taylor. with the empathy kind of setup. So let's not fight. I don't... You're funny. Okay, Kate's video. Kate is really upset about the video. All this gossip is cruel. Boo hoo. That's what happens when you preach. That's to true. Now, now we use the information about her mom against her and give her a Batista bomb off the top rope. Okay. Well, honestly, never mind. Never you see, mind, Taylor. you you that you blew it, Taylor. Talk, Max. Let's not do it again. Now, if you'll excuse me. All right. Well, you know, you're actually just like a piece of garbage. So. Taylor. Conversation over. Oh, we gotta go even further back. All right, get Giesling, the girl. Hi, Taylor. Why would you? Okay. About your mom. Good. We're on good terms now. She appreciates it. I now she'll put in a good I'm word to Victoria. It's not that I want to gloss things over with Victoria, because I'm a god. I could ruin her. I could ruin her so fully and completely. But that would make me the lesser Hi person. Again, Taylor. Hey, that wasn't such a bad. But if I could get Taylor in and just make it copacetic for everybody, that's better. Okay, so we, I think that was positive. Hello again, Samuel. Hello again yourself, Max. Sorry to pry, Samuel, but... Why are there photos of Rachel Amber in your shed? I'm curious about her. I feel like he's going to be honest. Pry, she says while well, prying. Now everybody wants to know about her. So did you know her? Like I told the police. She was a good egg, <laughs> and she gave me those photos. Oh, but why? You talked to the police? Rachel wanted to be a model. Yeah. She gave out headshots like squirrels chasing food. Keep on prying, Max. Sounds like you have a lot of time on your hands. Does he know? I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. Does he know? See you later. Of course you will. All right, well, we got to, again, go back. I'm the, some the, Samuel, they're winning me over to the side of Samuel is actually a villain. Yeah, okay, so, Rachel? Sorry to pry. Sorry to pry. Uh, some people care. I know people who cared for her. People who are looking for her. If she can be found. Like you. That's the nature of mystery. It's no mystery that you have her pictures. That's kind yeah. of accusatory, Max. She gave out headshot. All right. Well, we're. I so don't want. To. Seems like we're on the same of boat here. You will. Okay, that's fine. We learned something. Take a picture of this football, maybe. Can't Blackwell have at least one <sighs> no? D A E list sports ball. Release the kraken. Come on, squirrel. Time for your 15 minutes of fame. I better not get near the bench, or the squirrel won't take the food. Let's go. Yes. Another Pulitzer for the portfolio. We should give this photo to Samuel. He loves squirrels. Take care, Max. Nope. Okay. And keep listening to the animals. Cream it. <laughs> All right, Warren G. What's up, buddy? Max, come on over here. Warren, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Waiting for a call. 
I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. The thing goes. <laughs> poom, 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 poom. That was intense. Not that kind of rap. Everything happened so fast. I owe you. Oh, yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. Okay, well, like, you're a real act everyday. like you've been there before. You stood up to a bully, and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? Just a pirate. An old friend. Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? Qu'est-ce que c'est? Um, I, the more people we can lump into the situation, this is like making a tweet that's like, I'm of sound mind, if anything happens to me, like, look into it. We gotta spread the net of uh, Nathan Prescott being a jerk. I busted him in the bathroom yesterday with a gun. I was too scared to tell Principal Wells. Please, don't say anything. I'll give you more info later. Weird fucking week. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday. Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. It's not Let's worth watching away. the ones past the third movie. No, you know what, though? That's what being a teenager is all about. I'm in. Yes, that's exactly what I need. I love those old-school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool, I'll text you the info. Play hard to get? This what you not everything has to be about intercourse. I'm just going to see a movie with my friends, you David weirdos. Talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has It could be good if Kate. they end up like murdering oh, each other. Yo, hipster bus rat. Wait, no. That's the dude who said we can't look at his portraits because they're too good. Here we go. Gold teeth in the tomato, right to my mouth. Only I don't know how they got out there. Yeah, mute, muted VOD, here we go. I wonder if you can actually replace the music uh, in the game's files with the Tingo Skara. Poo, 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 poo. Your man's not hot. Probably not. Dude, I am enjoying the game. I'm having. There's some interesting dilemmas happening right now. Threads are coming up. We're completely ignoring the storm right now, but we got some human emotions that are rattled. Replace it with Down Under? Dude, that's me. If you ever see me in downtown Vancouver with headphones in, you should ask me to show you what I'm listening to. I almost guarantee it's Overkill by Men at Work. I'm not making fun of the shins, dude. I grew up in the Garden State era. I lived it. I'm all about this Devendra Barnhart, Iron and Wine, hey, the folk cover of Gin and Juice is better than the rap version, despite the significance that it has to, you know, the music industry as a whole. Don't try to take it from me. It's mine. I wouldn't dream of it. I'm gonna be a millionaire. Hope nobody steals my lottery. Talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. She looks busy and stressed. Sick polar Hi. face, though. You look lost. Close. Do you know if the bus has come yet? The I'm waiting for a delivery of a new skull. I just got off the school bus, but I'm sure the regular bus is coming too. Oh, that's a relief. <laughs> I can't be late for this job interview. 
can't believe I have to take a bus all the way to Newport just to find a second job. Times is tough. Are things that bad here? I started Where streaming on Tuesdays. Good. I can't even afford to live here. PNW. Well, good luck. Thanks, I sure need it. And then we interview for the same job. Take it from her. I bet he's seen a lot of changes to Arcadia Bay in his lifetime. No time for chit chat. I'm a millionaire. Yep. Got my lottery ticket right here. Waiting for the bus so I can cash it in. Running late. Grab a booth at the diner. Mom will feed you. Somebody better. I'll be lucky if you make it by noon. It is 8.40 a.m. It's pretty early. You can't have my lottery ticket. Buy your own. Snatch it? Hello, sir. Whoa. All right, busy boy, apparently. Save our city. Official support group. What's, go what's the problem? Fisherman. You guys, it's a pollution issue. Good morning. Looks like you're ready to catch some serious fish. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. Has the town changed much? By Neptune's beard, it has. Okay, you weirdo. Seems like just having a conversation. You gotta say, by water. Neptune's beard. Who are you, Ron Burgundy? By Neptune's beard. You have your own boat? I call her the Bali High. I've kept a hold of her in these lean days. Might be all the time we've got left. I thought one of Arcadia Bay's main exports was fish. Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat. Until the Prescotts and their By King Neptune's trident! Oh, it's the Prescotts! The Prescotts have a lot of power. They might rename the town Prescott Bay. If that tells you much. They also own my school? They own my school. Crooks gain respect when they put their names on schools and libraries. Let's not get downcast. I hear the fish calling for Bali High. Can I take like a never forget that old fisherman never flyer or something? I got really gotta go. I'd love to learn more, but I have to get going. Happy fishing out there. By Neptune's beard. Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. Well, I mean, I I read it. Nice, he got a name tag for his uh, weird little protest set up out here. Not that protesting is weird. Exercise, exercising your constitutional right and no one else will do it for you. Five ninety five for bacon and eggs. It's not that bad. Let's head on the way in. Man, that smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware. I do like a diner. It makes me feel 13 again. Oh, Justin, I like this guy. He's high, up, high Justin? tier in the rankings right Getting now. My coffee on before I cut class and destroy some rails. Look, that's not cool, to Should be honest be with you, but... Photos? I am always taking photos. I am a camera. You crack me up, Maxer. Of course I'm baked. So I'll laugh at anything. You should be studying, bad boy. So where's all your homework, schoolgirl? It's 8.40 a.m. School. Speaking of buds, I saw your bro Trevor sneaking out of Dana's room. Trevor finally told me about him and Dana hooking up. He got there first, so I snooze and I lose. See you later, Max. Hey, Trevor. Holla, Max. By the way, I know you saw me in the dorm. Like, default Dark Souls face? Something's freaking me out here. Picture yourself on a boat on the river. Tangerine dreams and marmalade skies. Maxwell says hella. She asks you quite quickly. Trevor with the luminous eyes. Yeah, I saw you coming out of Dana's room. Yeah, and I finally had to tell Justin because, well, his eyes. He's, in her too. he's got interior I eyeliner. Act. I got him blazed. He was cool. Nobody has secrets in Blackwell anyway. See you in class, Max. Trevor seems alright. I'm okay with these people. Not against him. Ooh. 
drool. Want everything. Yeah, give me a little guitar tune, please. <laughs> Forgot about the fishing wall of fame. White sturgeon caught by Dick Weaver. Put on overkill. I can't get to sleep. I think about the implications. And there she is. A lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. Hmm. Like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. Yeah, you're working behind the you're counter. So pretty. Nice save. That's you. a lot of responsibility. Well, I've been at the same school smart. for two years. Now you get busted for smoking pot. <laughs> I heard the whole sordid story from David. I'm sorry this was how you had to meet him. He's a good man. No matter what Chloe says. Yeah, I'm sure. I don't even smoke, like, ever. It was almost an accident. It was very stupid. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, it surprised me fierce. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. It's a very antiquated view I about marijuana, be. Joyce, Promise. to be honest with you. I know things were hard for you and You're Chloe. living in the Pacific Northwest. I, I mean, there's two the high 16-year-olds in the now booth across from you. Why don't you lecture all them? All I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. I'm not so saying it's good for I you, so especially as a teenager. I have great I'm just saying, she seems like the kind of mom who's Max. like, yeah, you know, throw a party, just don't do anything I wouldn't do, but you even if Chloe doesn't understand smell yet. a little marijuana, all of a sudden it's, uh, you know, you're ruining your life. She's got an antiquated viewpoint. Chloe understands. She just needs time. I know that sucks for you. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. Yeah, but her stepfather I is a Lauren dick. Coming. That's like, Do you? you can't lump all He's those rebellions into the same category. Think. But you did tell him you had a joint, right? Drugs. Probably bad. Blue hair. Who cares? Stepdad. Total dick. I did. And I am sorry. I don't want Chloe in any more trouble. Or me. Nobody's in trouble over a doobie max. Over a doobie I max. I that you took the heat for Chloe. Like a great friend. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. David watched his friends die to protect your rights, you little bitch. Yo, you think Chloe voted for uh, GWB over John Kerry in 2004? Nah, she was like eight. He cares about Kate Marsh. I agree, though. The David waitress is okay. Her, she seems all right. His business. He did I also hit Blackwell Chloe. Let's not forget about that. The diner, you know. I saw him arguing with Kate. I thought you might know why. Nice try, Nancy Drew. But next to you, there's only one student I'm worried about. Nathan and Prescott. And she's not even in school anymore. So, now let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do you want to eat? Bacon and eggs. Oh, you know what? Give me a Belgian waffle. The last good Belgian waffle I had was here when I was 13 years old. Last week. So, bring it on. Now finish your coffee. I don't know if this kid should be drinking coffee, by the way. I mean, I'm pot calling the kettle black here, yet at the same time, I'm sort of One like, for the hungry girl, you know, One might stunt her growth a little bit. I guess she is 18. I love nerd graffiti. <laughs> nerd yeah, graffiti. X plus Y equals Z. D-A-E mathematics, am I right? The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. 
Let's analyze this menu. Coffee, buck fifty. Free refills with breakfast. That's a great price. Fresh orange juice, two dollars. Dude, you go to a, a normal diner, you're paying three fifty and up for that orange juice. So that I think is a fantastic deal. Also, one dollar for mineral water. I mean, you can still get the tap water if you want, but buck for mineral water, pretty good. Let's take a the bagel with cream cheese, two dollars. That's a deal. Breakfast cheeseburger, starfish pancakes. This place is a, a buck twenty-five for cereal. You're telling me I can get cereal and a coffee, two dollars and seventy-five cents here. That's fantastic. What's the most expensive thing? An apple sausage omelet? No, the Belgian waffle and fried fish, eight seventy-five. I mean, you're getting up into prices there a little bit, but still, considering the you know the scope of that meal, that's pretty good. Nothing wrong with that, man. Can I get some beer and bacon before I die? This is a This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. No beer? I keep going back in time. Plenty. Stick with bacon. It's 8:40 a.m., my dude. Order ready. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. Pardon me? Incoming. I can hear your stomach rumbling from here, Max. Here, you'll We are this. number one. I'm drooling like I don't like the way she's leaning over the table. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, ugh. Mm, speak of the devil. Mom and Max, together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. Not in America. For breakfast. Are you atoning for yesterday? Oh god, Mom, please do not give Max any shit for that. She apologized. You know how important know Chloe did. is, based Max on the, like, resolution and fidelity Boy. of her face. She's 18 now. There's like eight tiers of faces in Too this game, and she's in the S tier. Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. Uh, excuse me. I'm paying for it, so she can have as much she bacon as she wants. Thing. It's only three dollars a side. Lotus Town. What is this shit on the jukebox? What, pardon me? You know what? You do only get one slice of bacon. Now that that's out of the way. Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation, and I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. I'm trying to wrap this my head around how I would prove so that. Fast. We'll start slow. Right here, now. Yeah, you can't listen to rock music at 9 a.m. How am I supposed to get to sleep? What's in my pockets? Let me see. Okay, Max. Impress me. Okay. Um. I don't know. I, don't I wasn't paying know. attention. Do you have some kind of power or not? Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. Probably not a gun. Cigarettes, keys, a post-it note, and some change. Wow, who could have guessed that she had keys in her pocket? You must be psychic. So, oh, this is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max, I'm hella ready. <laughs> Don't say that. Keys, absolutely. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. It's got a teddy bear on it. It had a teddy bear on it. A skull keychain for a punk like you. That was so wrong, Max. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pocket. She had a teddy bear keychain. That was beyond epic fail. Okay, so apparently I gotta inspect the items. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. This is what I get for trying to engage in some emerging gameplay. I'm 
probably do not need to memorize this, but you know, that is 80 cents plus another six. That's 86 cents. This is a warning ticket. You're causing an obstruction to the roadway or pedestrians. Got it. Okay. You got this, Max. Now rewind and blow Chloe's mind. X plus Y equals Z. Absolutely true, dude. So, this is me telling... Okay. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. I'm also hella ready. Um, you got... I mean, you got a parking ticket. A parking ticket. You know me well. But, what is oh, the exact time fudge. I was busted? It's like 9.50 or something. 10... 10.34 a.m.? 10.34 a.m. Booyah! Max can tell time! Even a broken clock is right twice a day. Whatever the hell that means. That's not enough? Hmm. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? 86 cents. 86 cents. That's right, living large in Arcadia Bay. So that was cool. Show me more. That's it? Oh, please don't ask me how many cigarettes are in the container. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. Um, it's a panda keychain. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Supermax. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. What else? I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. Oh, jeez. But how many cigarettes? I mean, there was, I think, 13 cigarettes. The pack was like half full. 13 cigarettes. I smoke too much to have 13 No! Cigarettes. Okay, psychic girl. This is actually stupid. Like, I've been a I've been a great defender of the game. Okay, Max. Somewhat. Every One, two, three, item four, five, six, seven. And don't forget um, anything. But this part is just needless and pedantic. Like, surely she should believe that the fact that I knew the exact time of her parking ticket and the amount of change in her pocket is enough. Like. I'm not touching anything on the controller right now. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. Okay, cigarettes. Let's start here. I'm pretty here. sure you have cigarettes on you. It's yes, just you Irish luck. Absolutely. Okay, you got seven cigarettes. Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? Yeah, okay. You got keys. You got a cute Duh, robot keychain. Um, there you go. A cute rob- Not bad, Super Max. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. Hmm. Clearly, I'm rich as. F yeah, don't say the f word on my stream. This is a Christian stream, and we That's have right. uh, good, clean so entertainment. That was cool. Show me more. Okay, parking ticket. Ten thirty-four a.m. You know me well. Ten. Booyah, Max. Surely that should be enough. Oh my God. Amazeballs. I literally just got Thank God you didn't get even one of those wrong to possibly arouse my suspicion. And on the first you try as well. I'll take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. How's the food, Max? Better than I remembered. Very good save. Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. <laughs> your aunt, your aunt, dude. This girl's got I all the references. What just happened. You, you have to show me more. Something way cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. What are you talking about? I will predict the future. No way. Hungry now, like the wolf. pay attention to everything Hungry that happens like the in the next few moments so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad okay. power. Steve Jobs on TV. Gonna go get some coffee. This guy's gonna be... Oh, Did you... Did you break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my party? You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. Wow, this got he very dramatic. It. I'm finishing it. Whatever this lady gets paid, it's not enough, dude. That's the best song I've this heard is yet. sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Daisy Jones's locker. You gonna dump so that in the river? What are you waiting for? Yeah, what a what a convenient series of memorable events. I'm going to predict 
four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. Okay. Trevor, no, no, no. Trucker drops his mug. The trucker drops his mug and Joyce rips him a new one. So what happens next? Alert on the cop's radio and he and his partner leaves. The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio and his partner in the car leaves without him. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Justin and Trevor fight and Joyce stops them. Justin and Trevor are fighting and Joyce breaks it up. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. Finally, the jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls the on it. The jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. I am a time lord. Oops. Although, you break another by speaking to Chloe, really? we have no ir refill for you. irreparably changed the flow of time, no, so if anything happens here that's different, friend. I don't think I have control over hey, that. where is my partner? You called it. And he's off to go bust some skaters. You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Trevor and Justin must be in love. You predicted a cockroach on the jukebox? I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. This isn't a toy. Claire. Oh yeah, and then 30 seconds toys. later you give me your breakfast sausages. Of course it's a toy. The best toy ever? You can bang anyone with no strings attached, rewind time, and boom! It's like it never happened. Grow up. Maybe That's maybe actually like a nonsense yes, time travel good. power. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. I don't have time. What do you mean? You did not just say that. Get it? <laughs> uh, check out your nose. Too much blow? Hey, are you okay? Too much excitement. Girl, my de <laughs> See what happens when we hook up again? My septum yeah. is hella deviated Let's right go now. Let's one of my secret lairs and fully test your power. You need a sidekick to guide you. No, I would okay, definitely Chloe. never vote for Chloe Tell to be president. To I would vote for Max to be president, though. You know, she's young, she's got her whole life ahead of her for sure. But also at the same time, she does her best to like smooth things over and, and solve problems. I think Max, uh, I would vote Max over like any I NLSS want, member. But you're in my eyesight. Isn't everything in here with an eyesight? I don't care for your tone. You sound like Joyce. Well, you're just making a How lot of Joyce enemies sound? here. Bossy and smart ass, like you. Joyce rules. Joyce rules. You're a little bitch. I want to be exactly like her when I grow up. Looks like you're on your way. I've been coming to this dive for three years, and Joyce gives me shit like it's going out of style. That's how she rolls. Maybe if you weren't That's drunk and dropping mugs everyone. all the time. Good. I can't wait to see you flipping greasy bacon. I can't wait to see you get replaced up. by Elon exactly Musk's supercomputer, like you little baby. Now pardon me while I get back to my coffee. Go fuck yourself, you dinosaur. I don't feel like talking right now. I gotta deliver a load of breakfast to my stomach. Over and out. <laughs> I like that guy. That guy's okay in my book. Hello, sir. Yes? I guess you're friends with David Madsen. I wouldn't use that word. We know each other. Why do you ask? He kinda has a reputation at Blackwell. I have respect for David. He served his country. He found his calling at Blackwell. Bullying at students. Station, we're happy David is exactly where he is. <laughs> Not everybody can be a cop. Yeah, I feel you. It's like an observe and report sort of situation. So, you know Chloe? Sadly, we all know Chloe down at the station. <sighs> Poor Joyce. Just heard that Chloe even had a pot dealer in her room. <laughs> that's not good. Uh, that's not good. Anyway, hmm, that bacon sure smells good. Is she a friend of yours? I wanted I to say yes, by the way. Then you know she's a handful. She can be, but she can also be a good friend who shows up when you need her. Sounds like you're a good friend. And that's all I'm going to say without my be lawyer being present. Not cause Joyce so much stress. You know, you seem like a good dude. How well do you know Joyce? I know her delicious grub. Everybody at the station comes here. It is the only restaurant in place town. Like it's our own kitchen. And Joyce, like she's our 
our mother. I have to go now. Enjoy your breakfast. This guy's okay. By the way, one thing I can tell you for certain is to stay away from that RV outside. I usually um, stay away from <laughs> sketchy parts. If there's a reason to stay away from the RV, the guy shouldn't you handle it? Go talk to him? sketchy himself. That's all I can say for now. I should but if you talk to me later, I'll explain. Uh, for reasons. Alright, how about you, dude? What do you want? I feel like shit. Too much beer, so spare me. Ah, uh, okay, Please. you know what? Suffer quietly. I apologize to the trucker. He was not drunk. This guy's this guy's drunk. You'd never know how weird this town is by these postcards. The poster doesn't mention whacked students with guns. It's true. It doesn't. Dude, Rachel is everywhere. Gross. Rachel owes me a BJ. So does your mom. Firewalk with me. You see, it's a Twin Peaks reference. It's probably, like, it was a little bit less like, how do you do fellow intellectuals when we were not in the return of Twin Peaks? So I'm going to give him a, a little bit of credit for that, because Twin Peaks has had a huge resurgence lately that makes this seem a little bit like a, you know, D.A.E. Death Cab for Cutie. But, you, uh... Redneck poet. Considering this came out, like, two years ago, we gotta erase that. Um... That Considering this came out two years ago, I'll give him a pass. This guy has serious cojones. Sick. This is Jacques Cousteau. Oh, it's Jack Cousteau. Sorry, my mistake. This guy has serious cojones. Oh man, I bet that's the same gum from when I was here last. Uh, it's xanthan gum, so it doesn't go bad. Weird lady. Hello there to you. Such a beautiful day. Oh, she's from Minnesota. Oh, yeah, we gotta it's go. Be a super day. Enjoy your breakfast, day. Eh? Oh, she's Canadian. My people. Oh yeah. Hello again. Back to breakfast, day. Eh? Oh, I just love being down here in the fucking states. You got a dart I can borrow, bud? Oh yeah, hello again. Back to breakfast, day. Eh? Did you catch any big ones today? If by big you mean none, then sure. I caught a lot of big ones today. Now let me mourn over my eggs. Jesus. Let's get out of your clothes. Okay, Supergirl. Let's go to my secret place. Don't even answer. We have places to go and older dudes. I should answer. It could be Kate. Come on, before mom you gotta answer the, the phone. phone. It could be Kate. Kate Marsh from Blackwater. I told you. You don't call me once in five years and now you're all over some biatch. No, Chloe. Oh. Answer the call. So go ahead. Chat up Kate Marsh from Blackwell. I've got other people to hang out with too. What are you talking about? Answer the phone, obviously. She's in a hey, Kate, vulnerable state. What's up? Please don't let your best friend get in the Chloe, way. you're being a little baby right now. I promise, Kate. I won't forget. I swear. Just do your homework and don't stress. I really don't think we should go into this right now. I'll call you later, okay? Chloe, you're being very prickly. Thanks, Max. If you'd rather chill with Kate, please go ahead. You are ridiculous. Oh, I'm, so, I'm, I'm trying to stop her from having a nervous now, breakdown. Sorry you had to be on your own for 10 seconds. Well, I told her I'll talk to her later. Uh, Chloe will remember that. No, 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 see what the, this is a red herring to try to trick you into appeasing Chloe by rewinding, but it has catastrophic implications for Kate. This RV man, no question. Don't rewind there. I don't think we should be here. Keep up. How many times are you going to get pissed at me this week? That depends on you and how well you do in this phase of the test. Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. Is this Far Cry 5? Raw and rough. It suits you. Max, do you know how awesome this is? I get my best friend back and she's also supersized? We don't know for how long. Exactly why it's time to have fun. Yeah, get drunk. Abuse your powers of time travel at 9 a.m. Are you kidding? Excuse After me? Yesterday, I'm kind of over guns, Chloe. <sighs> Freaks me out that you have one. Don't you trust me? Yes, but 
Not that gun. You have more power than an army. Don't be scared of my little toy. Besides, we need it for the test. Drink? Yuck. You are so cute. You haven't yeah. changed a bit. 18 and doesn't even want to drink a beer at 10 okay, in the morning. Let's do this. Can you find five bottles while I prep the shooting range? Can you find beer five bottles while I prep nice the combo. shooting range? You can handle it. Now go find us five bottles, pretty please. How about you just drink four more? Seems like you're well on your way. What? Oh, poor thing. They left you here all alone. Plank. There's a plank over there. Car wreck. All this rusted metal makes me feel serene. Am I morbid or just a god? You're just a teenager. It doesn't make you that different. Everybody is thinking the same thing. Oh, gross. So disturbing to see old stuff. Well, sorry, I got diabetes, Max. I'll try not to impede your existence anymore. She's just a dreamer. She dreams her life away. You gotta move this plank. Way heavier than I thought. Ugh. Oh! He's done it. Hello, bottle number one. Four more to go. Although this junkyard is a dive, I see why Chloe hangs here. She's a steampunk. No, not true. Yeah, no one to hassle you over drinking a rolling rock for breakfast. The Bigfoots were here. See, it's a metaphor. This is not the harbor of the jocks anymore. This is our town. Yeah, beat it. Okay. Bottles. Bottle shaped body like Mrs. Butterworth. There's the bottles. I don't want to go that way. There's no motto here. There's Dolmatis here. It's the birds again. Hello. No. This is the part where I stop playing and watch somebody else. This is, um, to be honest with you, I don't want to go that way. a bad gameplay decision. Nope, I don't want to go there. Why on earth, in your in your narrative adventure game, would you put a grab five bottles quest? Just a little bit of a uh, a bad decision in my perspective. Boom! Only three bottles left. I wonder if Chloe thinks about her father when she looks well, like Max. smashed up cars. Well, that tells me something. We are going ape. Newburgh is 60 miles, so we should leave around 5. I drive. Hell yeah, we will in your new ride. We have to get supplies for the drive-in. Maybe we could have dinner first. Or whatever. Anyway, go ape. Too late. What if Chloe's down to another 2 since you left? That's a good point. Wow, sir. That looks exactly like the same doe from my tornado vision. I mean, we gotta go investigate. That doe is the perfect photo op. It's a ghost doe. Look at the photo! Yeah, see, there's no deer. Tom right. It's stump. It's stump. It's stump. What's in the hole? It's so quiet and primordial out here. Please stump. Please stump. Please stump. Give like three bottles. 
Is this stuff uh, part of the quest? I think so. Tell me something. Yeah. I just have to figure out the message. Like to find bottle, please. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. NL has so many bangers in his back pocket. That one's in my front pocket, dude. I got lump ready to go at uh, at a moment's notice. At the drop of a gat. Cool, cool, cool. This was an old school punk shirt. Oh, fucking sweet. The Kaiser Chiefs. Yeah, they went hard. Bulldog for lease. No way. I totally remember going there when I was a kid. I loved the Hush Puppies. Now the sign is just Arcadia Bay junk. You have a lump, but what about Peaches? I know less about Peaches because it wasn't in Rock Band. Or at least it wasn't on the main set list. You have mm, 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 in your front pocket. Once there was a quest that padded out the episode, so it action. was a little longer for the reviews. Otherwise, they'd have to knock off a couple of points. This and is so I gotta search for. Bottles, but I cannot look in the recycling bin. Okay, please, let me... This looks like a graffiti museum for Chloe and Rachel. I bet I can find out more about Rachel here. That kind of hurts. Chloe and Rachel, they had... They had a friendship. Perhaps even more. Now... What's up with this weird secret relationship? You can tell me how much you can tell how much I want you to read this letter since I've been dragging my ass to give it to you. Maybe I want you to find it when I'm not around so we'll never have to talk about it. And I don't want you to hate me. Where to start? I met somebody recently who's so different from the lame vortex club snobs. I know you'll have a meltdown when I tell you and think he's gross, but I swear he's wise and unconventional. Kinda scary, not in a bad boy way. He's just experienced some serious shit. Yes, I'm kind of obsessed. I won't blame you for freaking. Maybe I know you're right and this just has to be my secret. I hate not sharing this with you, except I know you'd give me that stink eye and grill me for every stupid detail. If I even told you that last night we hooked up near campus. So Rachel has, uh... She's hooked up with this guy. But who is this guy? We need to know more. Cans won't work, just bottles, huh? Okay. They really were besties. That could have been me instead of Rachel. Don't be bitter about it, please, Max. It's not a becoming look. Everybody's got friends. Let's go. Three down, two more to go. Talk about... I want to die. It's pretty bad. <gasps> Jeez. Who wrote it? So Rachel did go to a Vortex Club party. This flyer is dated right before she disappeared. DJ Irish Bacon. Ouch. Fuck you. Yes, you. That girl thinks she's the queen of the neighborhood. They would have gone all the way to Los Angeles for a rave. Looks fun. DJ Tomo? Oh, mixtape. Rachel songs. I wonder if Chloe would ever make 700 a megabytes of storage. I can't see Chloe playing with makeup. She's clearly wearing makeup. I don't want to intrude, but I was here. You're being very petty right now, Max. Very juvenile. It's an unbecoming look. L.A., bitch. Well, we got three bottles. Nope, I don't want to Right, go she there. doesn't want to go there. I'm in Miami, bitch. 
No, don't step on those. Hey, Chloe. Um, you, Chloe. Every car has its own tale and history. This is a bad quest. Oh, four bottles. Oh no! She broke the bottle. The Time Lord broke the bottle. Look what we have here. A cute little bottle for the taking. She broke it again! Stupid bottle. She can't just use her other hand to catch the bottle. We gotta solve a puzzle. Okay. Well, surely we gotta like create a bridge over here or something. It's hard to believe that was once on the road, filled with dozens of students. So sad to look at a grounded boat. I wonder who owned that and where they are now. Uh, I wonder, who could it be now? Beyond repair. Rest in peace. Where to find bottles? Don't make me Maybe laugh. Maybe in an old refrigerator. Oh, there's a crate. Easy money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stand on it. No, okay, grab the bottle. Dun -dun 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 One more bottle to Congratulations. Go. You have completed a great game. Thanks, Max, for helping me. No problem, that guy's an asshole. Max, I want to thank you by giving me such great advice about going to the police. I so appreciate you standing by me. Keeps my faith. Kate, I'm on your side. Please don't mention me too much if you can. I'm already in trouble. And thanks for talking to me this morning. I was about to have a serious cry and I needed a friend. Let's go. Nope, I don't want to go there. Why does she text sideways? Because she's got a fucking T-Mobile sidekick. You got a problem? Probably just jealous, you mungo. I already looked at that washing machine. In an old refrigerator. Unless they were talking about the other old refrigerator, which is also plausible. There's a campfire in between some wrecks near the train tracks. You're a god. Thank you. Hello, Samuel. Campfire. Nope, I don't want to go there. You already walked by it. Campfire. Julie plus Zachary equals love forever. Oh. Try rewinding time now. You can't because you're dead. I know there's a bonfire spot where people party around here. I know there's a bonfire spot where people party around here. I know there is a bonfire spot where people party around here. See, the thing is, I know there's a bonfire spot where people I don't want to go like to way. party around here. Oh, of course. Chad, don't even start with me saying I'm blind. Look at this freaking any other game. This is an invisible wall right here. For extinguish the fire, I'm by the sure way. I'm sure this is a popular party pit. Let's go. Voila. 
Stomp it out. Stomp out the fire. I mean, I guess it's not going to... Oh. Well, looks like this is where we die. I don't want to go that way. What do you mean? Don't make me rewind time to get through this. That's stupid. No, don't. More dialogue. Less bottle solving puzzles. That's just. This is not the game's strength. You, whoever designed this part, you gotta give them a stern talking to in the CEO's office, please. You couldn't have just drank the, the beer a little faster, by Thanks, the way, Max. but... That's the worst puzzle in the game. Sick. Wait, We're done then. One more for the road? Nothing to worry about. Oh, she was gonna do it anyway. Six bottles. You're serious about this. We're gonna shoot all these bottles without wasting a single bullet. Well, your definition of wasting Max, differs from mine. You have to help me aim. Oh, okay. Show me the way, Max. I need you shoot first. Freaking katonk. Go. F Let's go. To the to the right, Chloe. Dog oh, Chloe. Show me the way. I'm a bit to the right. Sir, yes, sir. Let's go. Oh, yes! Did you see that shit, Max? Yeah, about Duh. 20 times. That was so fucking cool. Now for the second bottle. Now, Max, where do I aim? You're on target. Pull the trigger. Excuse me, I said up. Aim slightly above. Right between the eyes. Watch out, Nathan. Now that is fun. Let's pump up the volume and find me another target. What do you mean? You got four more free. bottles. I do you know what I went through to get those bottles? Give me something to shoot, Max. TV's already pretty busted. Hello, what should I shoot? Well, just hold up a second, Miss Bossy. Fine, since you won't play, I'm gonna shoot this No, barrel. it's gonna explode! Yawn. Listen to those fat bullet beats! I have to rewind, okay. Shoot this barrel. No. Give me something to shoot, Max. Shoot the blue plank. Aim at that old blue plank here. I hate old planks. One shot, one kill. Yawn. Not good enough for you? What do you want to? You want to murder something? Give me something to shoot. Let's take out this wheel rim on your left. Taking out the wheel rim now. Nice shooting. She got all the bottles now in one that's shot. What I'm that's about. amazing. Satisfied? <laughs> like never. So I want one more uber cool trick shot. How about using that junker for a target now? Dude, I need to put a real dent in that front bumper. Goodbye, cruel bumper. <laughs> Jesus, I shot myself. Ugh, I shot myself. Back up. Back Stupid up. Gun. Hold on, Chloe. What if I just don't rewind? Oh, they're gonna make me rewind. Oh, I mean. Goodbye. No, <laughs> Chloe, you are an idiot. Shoot the gas Dude, tank. I need a target before Heck yeah. I Let's see what happens when you shoot the gas tank. Step back, gas tank, go boom. Let's go. Are definitely down, but no bottle casualties. It's like H1Z1, the revolver's better against cars. I agree, actually. Chloe did deserve to die once. Dude, I need a target before I shoot. How about aiming? Now that we've gotten that out of our system, we're good. Adios, spinning wheel of death. Ooh, 
uber cool. I cannot believe this is for reals. My best friend is a superhero. Freaking hell of vandalism. Now it's your turn to bust a cap. I don't know. Max, your nose. Damn. I don't feel so super. Max! It's very simple, just rewind time to before your nose started bleeding. Or go back in time to before you, you learned that you could time travel. So then you don't know how to time travel and your nose will stop bleeding. A little. Thanks for helping me. Just give me a minute. Too much action for Arcadia? Maybe not enough. This is kind of fun. Scary and stupid, but fun. Let me know when you feel okay. God, this Don't power really point messes with that my gun head. into the sky, please. God, I feel normal again. I better go chat up Chloe. Okay, looks like you're ready to lock and load. I don't know about this. Are you afraid of getting in trouble? Why oh, does she need a gun? She can travel afraid. through time. I know you can handle this, and I'm here to guide you. Make me proud, sister. Oh, well, excuse me. There's a man here. Hey, Stelma and Louise. Or is it Bonnie and Clyde? Excuse us, Frank. Oh, sorry, Chloe. Don't let me get in the way of your bonding. Maybe we shouldn't be hanging out at the junkyard by the train glass. tracks. It's cute that you're playing with guns. Just like me at your age. We're not anything alike, man. Well... We both need money. In fact, you need it so bad, you owe me a shitload, don't you, Chloe? Huh? You'll get your money. Don't they all say that? You know, even when they're broke and acting tough? What are you hiding there, girly? What do you think? Let me see. Where did you get that bracelet? A friend. And it's none of your goddamn business. Oh, You're okay. Business now, That's and Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. No, it wasn't. You stole that shit. Give it to me right now, asshole. You better step back before you regret it, girl. I mean it. You want me to cut you, bitch? Please. Yep, I'm still Please here. Step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. She doesn't need to go to Come juvie. On, girly. Shoot me. He's not gonna do it. He's more afraid of you than you are of him. Don't shoot him. Ah, oh, Christ. You're more like Abbott and Costello. Nice piece. I'll consider this good. This is good. We got rid of the gun productively. Sure, we gave it to a maniac, but at least Chloe doesn't have it. To pay me, or I'll track you down with this interest. Have a good play, kids. That was such a Warren move. You really stood your ground. What are you supposed to murder him because you owe a weirdo money? It'll be hard to keep Nathan off my ass. My step shit will have his other gun sealed in an electrified bunker by now. Sorry, Chloe. I've never held a gun on a human being before. Not cool. I know, Max. Really. I'm actually relieved it worked out this way instead. And there are more guns out there. Exactly. Let's blow. My secret lair didn't feel secret today. At least Frank is gone. I mean, he it's not really a secret again. lair. It's a big old party pit by the train tracks. This is not that oh, bad. Man. Frank took Chloe's gun because of me. It's a good thing. It's going to save Chloe from doing something that she'll regret. This is a positive situation. Wow, sir. Why did Frank have Rachel's bracelet? Now that is a puzzle. We need to talk about this. Do later, you think Rachel? I better follow no, Chloe. okay, I'm piecing it together. Rachel and Frank um, were in a relationship together. That's who, uh, the guy who has gone through some quote-unquote serious shit. Nope, I don't want to go there. Absolutely true. They definitely got in a relationship together. 
she said he's not a bad boy. No, but she said he went through some serious shit. And I think, like, not a bad boy is a code word for, like, a bad boy. I should leave this place with Chloe. Well, where did my Chloe go? Frank looks Chloe's like a bad boy. For a walk. Look, he's got a neck tattoo, so even if he's not a bad boy, to some extent I think he's cultivating a bad boy image. I'm not trying to say good people can't get neck tattoos. I'm just saying it does carry a certain stigma associated with it, whether that's... You know, Especially apt or inapt. Shit. I'm not mad. It adds up in my mind as people letting me down. We shouldn't be walking on the train tracks. That gun, man. Now you have me to protect you. I'm just glad you were here. Me too. I think. We shouldn't be watching Chloe, on the train tracks. Why the hell are you hanging around scary losers like Frank? Correct. It's weird. We definitely should not lay talk. down on the train tracks. Feels like a different world, huh? This is a horrible idea. Can we build another pirate fort and keep the world out? Why would you secret do hangout. this? At least Frank wouldn't find us. Are you okay, Max? I'm so on this game's side. And you're Prometheusing. You have the... There's such good meat in the dialogue between the people and the little stories happening and then the mega anime, European anime going on in the background. Just don't... Max seems like a smart individual. Have her just say, eh, maybe we shouldn't sleep on the train tracks, Chloe. That's it. Just have her not be on the train tracks. And it eliminates all of the conceit of being annoyed by this section. I'm still freaked out about what happened. That was awful, Chloe. I'm sorry. But Frank isn't as hardcore as he runs. All he cares about is his cash, stash, and mangy dog. Chloe, are you for reals? Frank just took your gun and threatened us. He's armed and clearly dangerous. Max, I know. Crazy shit is the new normal for me. That's why I plan to leave Arcadia Bay without paying Frank off. Now, tell me exactly just what's going on Just go sit on the rock. Frank. Does he have a last name? Frank Bowers, he's just a dealer, where I get my weed. The one in your joint, remember? Anyway, Frank and I kind of hung out. This is why we need legalization. Hung out? You don't mean you... Ah, oh, no, we didn't have sex. Gross, man. He never even tried. I just made the mistake of borrowing money so Rachel and I could bail out of here. That's it? No. I want to know how Frank got Rachel's bracelet. What do you think? Be careful is what I think. I think we have to be careful and keep an eye on this guy. Without him eyeballing us, okay? Ah, it's so weird talking to you about this insane crap. We haven't I mean, I guess if we get hit we by a train, twins. we could just go it's back like in no time, time anyway. Passed. I wish Rachel was here to meet you. Do you think that Rachel and I would have been friends? You're not that different. She had... Has... A great eye for images and for art. You should see your Tumblr. Plus, she's a smartass like you. We would all be hella best friends forever. I know she must be as cool as you are. I have no doubt we'll meet soon. Railroad tracks always make me feel better. I have no idea why. Even worse to lampshade it with Kerouac that, in my knew. opinion. It's the romance of travel and mm, The A.E. Jack the Kerouac. The He's my hero. Uh, died of cirrhosis because he poisoned his liver at age 38. But, uh, pretty good guy to idolize. You are. You just have to stop being afraid. Perfect. <sighs> A swirling ring of water. I'm no, oh, who could have predicted? Hold on, Chloe. God, this is. What's that noise? Take your shoe off. The train. Oh shit. Chloe, take your shoe off. Get me out of here, Max. 
Chloe, take your shoe off. I can't even move it an inch. Chloe, take your shoe oh, off. It's not locked. Hurry! Chloe, I'm gonna need you to take your shoe off. I better find a tool to cut those wires. Yeah, yeah, up here, no question. Max! Shit, I can't budget at all. Just take your shoe off, Chloe. Take the cinder block, bash, please, bash in the window. Max, please! A crowbar. This is. I can definitely use this Max, bad boy. Get me out of here. Gonna need you to just take your shoe off, Chloe. Okay, see, like, the thing is, Chloe, I'm gonna need you to take your shoe off. Yeah, yeah, take the, the wire cutters, the pliers. Now I can pull a total MacGyver. But you know what? There might actually, like, be more in here. Okay, uh, what can I slice? They're not gonna let you cut off her leg. That's, like, too metal. There might be more there might be more stuff in here that's relevant for future stories. Plus we can travel back in time. So it just means that sure, maybe Chloe's gonna like, you know, go through some stuff, but whatever. In and out, no problem. What the freaking wedge crowbar wedge. Push the... Now I can finally move the drum. Move the drum onto the... Get me out of here, Max! Please! I have to help lift Chloe up. Please! Be the best. Damn. That was close. You saved me again. Crazy. We were totally bombed, right? You okay? I got splinters in my ass and leg, so I wish there was a less violent way for you to save me. And now the trains can't get to the lumber mill. Oops. Aren't you glad I took you away to a nice, quiet, desolate spot? It was cool to spend time in your lair, but... I All you had to do was not lay on the train tracks! Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. My powers... Might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. Forever. <laughs> All you had to do was follow the damn Thanks train, for the ride, CJ. Chloe. Right on time for my art lesson. Thanks for coming with me. Sorry to be so boring. What are you Nothing talking about? Ever happens to us, right? Listen. Your rewind power has to be connected to that snow yesterday. That might explain your tornado vision. Explain what? Snow equals a ginormous twister that takes out Arcadia Bay? You're high. Wake up, Max. You saved my life twice. Three already. times? You altered the course of my destiny, yours, and whoever. Do you know about chaos theory? Oh, no. What do you know about chaos theory, Miss I Hate Math? Five years ago, asswipe. Some people change. And your situation is the perfect storm for quantum physics. Why me? I'm just a geek girl in some small town. A perfect it example is Nick. of strange attractors? Don't they teach you kids anything at Blackwell? My 11th grade science teacher has a bachelor's in physics and told us all about chaos theory. So let's party with your power, Rockstar! Like he said, Professor Price. A superhero needs a sidekick. How can it be such a shitty week and yet one of the best of my life? Because we're back in action. Well, maybe because I'm rewinding time to make it so you never face repercussions for your stupid mistakes. Alright. I'm gonna say... 
that last little Chloe section there, from the time that she got mad at me for picking up the phone call to that little driving off part, I'm gonna purge it from my memory. Not gonna hold it against the game. I have a little time In my opinion, not a strong so section though. I can do some wondering. So are you going to that Vortex Club party? Sir? Ah, hello, Would you like to tell me what you wouldn't yesterday? No. No, I mean, I don't have anything to tell you. More secrets. Now, excuse me, I have a meeting to attend. Justin, you're cool in my eyes. I still like you, even though you got mad at your Justin friend. Justin always looks stoned. Well, you know. Hello, Zach. Sup, Max? It's weird to not see you without your camera. It's I'm weird to not see you eyes. without your I camera. Bet. As long as you don't talk to everybody about it's all that shit weird with the sex in Victoria. To not see you without your camera. It's weird to not see you without your camera. I won't. That's what Victoria wanted. Yeah. I noticed she kind of set up her own drama, even if it fucks her over. Weird. She doesn't have to, though. That's what I don't get at all. When she's hot, rich, talented, what more does she need? XOXO Mike. Anyway, see you at the game Friday, Max. You can really learn a lot about a school by the weird shit posted on the boards. Yeah, like they have a swim team. And a band. And there's religious people here. Wow. Pretty wild. Insane. You guys okay? Seriously. Hello, climate change. Despacito, can I talk to Samuel? No, I cannot talk to Courtney. Hey, Courtney. Ciao, Max. No photos, please. I have to come It's like they know one thing about Max and everybody's pulling the working hard or hardly working. Oh, like you can Hey, Max. Had a camera lately? I'm not Take any photos lately, Max? Anti fashion, though. A Vortex Club party has a strict dress code. Do you even have a dress? <laughs> Sorry, but nice try. You're a, you're a, a, a not nice lady. I would like you to be nicer to me. I'm trying to care here. Hey, Courtney. Ciao, Max. Ciao, no Max. Really? My dad paid like for me to go to care. Italy for three months, so I speak Italian. I'm sure the Vortex Club has a dress code. As you can see, I would need your advice on what to wear. Thanks, Max. I didn't think you noticed high fashion. Tell you what. Oh, you mean haute I'll couture? I'll on the guest list, and before the party, I can give you some tips. Cool. Thanks, Courtney. I'll send you the party info later. Back to the list. It's like social interaction 101. Talk about something they're interested in. Everybody likes doing. us now. Same hoodie, huh? Trevor surveys his domain. Trevor surveys his domain. I mean, we gotta iron this out. Me, Let's try to smooth things over. I know things got a little heated yesterday in Chloe's room. Was that really your reefer? I'm gonna say no. No. I'm gonna be honest with him and one. extend the olive branch. Are you gonna bust me now, Mr. Madsen? Even I'm not that much of an asshole. And I am sorry about yesterday. I was wrong, but upset. Cannabis is not a big deal to you. But it has been to Chloe. You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. Good, we're, we're meeting in the middle her. here. So is Kate Marsh. That's true. What about Kate? You step between us at a pretty bad time. She's another matter entirely. Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Max, this isn't just about Kate Marsh. He did My hit her, that's true. The safety of all Blackwell students, including you. That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that I think he respects us for coming in hot here. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. I think I'm okay with this discussion. I think we, we made productive uh, 
we made progress there. Hey girl, sit down. Science, brah. I'm in the sci-fi lab now. I'm no Schrodinger's kitty. All right, Warren, you're I really. Still have time. I could go see Warren playing. You're really Matt. pushing your Luke luck is here. Luke always using the phone as a shield to avoid people. I saw Victoria and her friends shopping for the party. Juliet. That reminds me, I have to score some weed from Nathan. No, Logan, don't do that. Juliet is laying the smack down on Zachary. Is that Tom Hanks? Bernie Sanders? I hate having everybody see inside my locker. Yo, Maxwell Smart. Talk later, cool? That's so mean, but so you can't help me? I'm trying. But you have to understand my Oh, position. Kate! Why? You don't understand mine. Nobody does. Nobody. What do you want from me? I'm sorry. What the heck, Mr. Jefferson? Excuse me, Max. Can you come over here? Sure. You look worried. Is everything okay? Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos. But you know this. So what can I'm, I do? Don't think of me like a teacher. I'm Just like more like your friend. Me? I'm worried about Kate Marsh. That's no secret. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief yesterday. I stepped in between David Madsen barking all up in Kate's face about something. She doesn't deserve that. Of course not. <laughs> Mr. Madsen isn't the most gentle soul. Do you have proof he instigated the situation? I didn't take the photo, so I do not. good enough? <sighs> the one time I choose not to take a picture. Always take the shot. My number one rule of photography. And Max, I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. This I seems fairly you normal. Know about this viral video. Kate is freaked out by all of this. She can't do homework while she's being tormented on a daily basis. What if Kate brought this on herself? Wow. She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back. The truth. Like an actual mega creep. Of course I've spoken to her. Yes, I talked to her on the phone today. She needs friends and support. Did he actually use the phrase, she doth protest too much? much? To become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. Rachel was nothing like Kate. And Principal Wells said you had something on your mind you wouldn't tell him. You care to share it? No, nah, I'm not telling you. The doth protest too much line, not a cool teacher. Not a no, cool I'm teacher. Not. I'll tell you everything as soon as I figure it out. Go hang out with people like your own age, you weirdo. It just seems like there's a lot of drama around you this week. Go read TMZ, you little bitch. Should I? Excuse me, Max. Hello. Yes? Uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. Uh-huh. Sure, okay. Listen, I do have a class I have to teach. I have to go. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'll do that. Mom. Oh, I know. That makes sense. Huh? Mm -mm. Seriously, I have to hang up now. No, you hang up. Let's talk about this later. We'll talk later, okay? Can I can't. you make me the mini pizzas I like for dinner tonight, Mom? Because I can't have this conversation with you right now, okay? Would you please just hang up the phone? Okay. Mm -hmm. Huh? Oh my god. Yes. Oh my god. Just finish the conversation, my dude. Uh huh. Okay. Well, we still have to speak with 
Warren. Brooke's Hi, still cool in my books, more or less. Hi, Max. Making your daily rounds? Drone. How's your drone? Miss Grant busted me flying it over the parking Thank lot. She's all jacked up about surveillance bullshit. Like I was spying on Warren's new car. You already planted a GPS on him? I borrowed the one he has on you. I hate to hit and run, but... Um, don't let me get in your way. This can't be so that long. hard. Chemistry stuff. Bring me the brain, <laughs> Oh! I see we have a fellow intellectual hey, here. Mm, Are you okay? Frankenstein. You Actually, uh, the doctor is Axel Frankenstein. Hammer. Perfect timing. I need Maxwell Silverhammer. Asking you for help mm, means The have Beatles, you anybody? Potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Doctor Max. Um. I'm not sure why you're letting me decide your fate, but go potassium. Potassium it shall be. This works. This might explode and dog. like embed an Erlenmeyer flask into his body, but that was sick, Weird dude. Science. Good stuff. We did it. I think. Yes, I am a scientist. Fuck. I am a scientist, guided by voices, clutch reference. You think I haven't listened to B thousand about a million times? It's twenty eight minutes long. Drop some Alien Lanes references if you're a real fan. Hi, Miss Grant. Funny, I was just thinking about you, Max. Thanks again for taking a stand against camera surveillance here. Every signature counts. Miss Grant, can I ask you a possibly dumb science question? Propeller is you greatest of all time. No question. There are no dumb questions. Ask away. Would you add potassium or sodium to a chemical mix for this week's experiment? Neither. Unless you want a face full of powder. I would add chlorine. Dope. I'm sorry, Miss Grant, but I have to get going. Go on, Max. We'll talk again. Real soon. We gotta go. Let's go. Sick, make chlorine gas instead. Hey, Warren. Maxwell Silver? No. Asking me for help? Have Not to really. Add a bit no, you should add chlorine. Lots of potassium! I actually think you should use a lot of potassium. I mean, a shitload. See? Look at that smile. You're going to become a scientist yet. Let's do this thing. She blinded me with science. Ha ha ha! Clutch reference, my dude. Hey, Warren. Maxwell, asking me. Is there Have anything this guy is not tangentially familiar with? Wrong, Warren. You need to add chlorine, not potassium or sodium. Chlorine? <laughs> yeah, you moron. Can't argue with a confident scientist. All the other rare earth metals ignite when they touch oxygen. Could blow this whole place up. Eureka! She's got it. No, you got it. Don't be so modest, Dr. Caulfield. Look at this photograph, am I right, Max? That was fun helping Warren. He's pretty So cute I respect Samuel and I don't like Warren. The fact that Max finds him cute troubles me about what is to come with this young man's life. Hi, Miss Grant. Funny, I was just thinking right, about Right, yeah, I remember. Thanks again. Yep. Um, photos. I'm just thinking about all the autumn photos I want to take. Oh, this is my favorite time of year. I do love the season change. This whole campus is a visual delight. I know Mr. Jefferson loves to shoot around here. Does she know what she just said? You must know Mr. Jefferson pretty well by now. I certainly know him as a talented artist and terrific teacher. I've been here a little longer, but he's made a bigger mark. I have to say, it's not quite autumn enough is yet. Is she... is this a cry for help? 
What about that snow yesterday? What's your scientific explanation? Our climate is moving beyond explanation. Of course, some of the tribes here might see it different. Yeah, okay. How is your campaign going? You signed the petition, now it's your campaign too. Thanks for stepping up. More people would rather send a text than sign a petition. D-A-E. That's uh, how they keep us all paper. distracted. Nobody will notice cameras on every square foot. I know. I really hope yeah. they keep those cameras from and taking over And putting stuff in the water, water that's turning that's the friggin' frogs gay. Sure will. Anything else with uh, the experiment? I doubt it, but... Uh... Miss Grant, can I ask you a possibly dumb science question? You know my stock teacher answer. Yeah. Would you add put neither? Yeah, you'd add you'd add I'm chlorine. Sorry, Ms. Green, unless you want a face full of powder. Go on, Max. We'll talk. Alright, now we can go to photography class. Look at this photography class. Every time I do Wait, no 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 wait, wait, we gotta speak to Kate. Probably bathroom, right? I was in high school once. Meme. Boys bathroom? Where'd she go? I guess we can't talk to her? She went back to the dorms? I think. And I cannot. So, time for class. Hey Daniel, long time no see buddy. What's up Daniel? Waiting to draw Dana after Hayden gets his paparazzi on. I hope you liked the sketch I did of you yesterday. Um, love it. Love. And it's my new avatar. Excellent. I got tons of likes on FB. Ah, made you blush. Shut up. Someday your portrait may hang in the Daniel De Costa wing of the Louvre. We'll talk about it later. I think this guy's okay. I, I'm saying Daniel's all right. Uh, what a normal video Whoa. camera. Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. He probably paid twenty grand for that camera. On I bet he gets teacher salary. Digital images, but I still dig my. Oh, listen! Look out! Camera. What's gonna hit her this time? Not now, Max. I'm contemplating shit. I just wish you'd open up to me. Ooh, I... <laughs> a prickly situation. No man. time to talk, Max. Posing in progress. I'm kind of doing something now, Max. I don't know if I really want to be involved in this Max conversation. Do you think we're sitting at her desk? No time to oh, talk, I'm Max. I'm sure she'll Art report us to the principal. Like I give a flying fuck. Or she'll run to Mr. Jefferson. Like he gives a shit. Like anybody does. Hello. Max is such a little... Excuse Here me. Here comes the mysterious Max. Disguised as a pixie hipster. Or paparazzi. I want that photo whore. Or I get nasty. Too late. Meow. Bring out the claws. I love seeing chicks fight. Can I sit down, please? I don't know. Can you? <laughs> oh, the grammar burn! burn. That's all she's got. See you at the malt shop Assos. later, Max. Jeez, Victoria, you're looking swell. I sure hope Dad lets me borrow the Model T this weekend so I can take you to the drive-in. Rescue her. Save her. Okay, why is David taking photos of Kate? That is a little strange. Now this is so wrong and weird. We cannot get up though.
call her. Can't can't call. We just got SMSs. What up, Max? Hey, Warren. I saw Kate earlier, and her eyes were puffy from crying. Look who's talking. Kate has a lot on her plate. I didn't know what to say, and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Everybody else, please sit Maybe down. We have a lot to cover today, and so little time as usual. I see all the usual suspects here. All eight students that Anybody I normally seen have. seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh by now. <laughs> She's not feeling good. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. How do you know about it? Maybe it involves a student. I guess Kate will miss class now. I'm worried about have her. Have false images of yourself shot out all over the world for people to. Ju no smartphones in class, Max. Put that away. Hey, Mr. Jefferson, how about you suck my dick? Put me in detention. I'll just rewind time. Max, wish you had popped the cap in Frank's ass instead of giving him the gun. No, Chloe, I do not wish that, and neither do you. Is it too late to rewind? Judge. Usually, people need something to judge, so they never take a good look at themselves. We can thank reality TV for some of that. DAE. In the end, we can only blame ourselves for participating. This is a photography class, not life Speaking lessons with a 28-year-old high school teacher. There are a few souls here who have yet to enter a photo in the contest. Like Max Caulfield, for example. Who I know can't wait to enter, right? I'm sure you read the syllabus like it was a Harry Potter book, so you must know today we're studying... Kiro Skiro. That beautiful word about the contrast between light and dark. The shadow play that gives photography such visual power. It's basic yin and yang. Black and white images are effective. I feel like this guy watches a lot of TED Talks. Of their contrasts. Although we don't technically see in my Yo! Some crazy shit is going down in the girl's dorm! Zachary, do not come into my class like that ever again. Listen, everybody remain seated. Absolutely not. Dismissed. That's why you gotta mess somebody up as your first day as a teacher, so they respect you. Is this for real? It slipped out. I didn't think she was that messed up. Kate! Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh God. Let's rewind a little bit. Do something to help her. Is that not again? Not now. I have to try something. I won't be able to. Okay, we only get a few tries here, perhaps. Andrew WK. So let's puzzle it out. Going we could talk to her. Max. We could try to catch her. Can't Definitely gonna rip our tendons. Do it. It's a maze. It's all a spectacle to you? Got this. Yes. <laughs> Nothing personnel, Kate. Oh. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now. It won't work. I don't have any power. Now I have to do this by myself? Max, seriously, don't come near me. I will jump. Okay, okay. I'm right here. You got this. This is right in my Kate, wheelhouse. I've seen the Yes please. Man. Oh, Max, I know you want to help me. I love that you stepped up to David, but it doesn't matter now. Nothing matters. 
you matter not just to me. You got family. You got your clergy. You matter, and not just to me. I do want to believe that. Kate, your life is still yours. And we can get through this together. Let me help. Like I helped by erasing all that crap people wrote on your room slate. I'm glad to hear you worry about me. That makes me feel better. You're my friend. Of course I worry. You're my friend, Kate. I did feel better talking to you on the phone. I always feel like you really listen. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning He's I beginning to believe. the web link to the video. Yo, you shouldn't be disclosing all this information video. though. It's a little too Are you much. Serious? Thank you so much. The fact that you don't care about that video and would come up here to stop me means a lot. You were drugged. I care it's nothing about to be ashamed of. I believe you were drugged. We will find out who did this and make them pay. You sound so persuasive, Max. If only. Kate, I believe you. Will you believe me? Please. You don't have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up. Uh, unless I put myself to sleep. Then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. I'm already on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. Be strong. Kate, this is our chance to beat the bullies. That's the only way we can win against them. Can we really, Max? I don't believe in miracles anymore either. Now I do. You're part of the reason why. If you come down with me, I can tell you more. You're such a good person, Max. Even if you're- Let's proud. go! But I'll come with you. You're my friend. Forever. Can we hug on it? No. Nobody cares about me. Nobody. Your father cares about you. I saw the note. Kate. I saw that card from your father. You can count on him. He clearly loves you without question. Dad does care, even though I hurt him. He's the only one I know who believes in me. Take the hand. Take the hand. He's done it! I'm sorry. <laughs> Get out of here with that time travel trash. We don't need it. You saved me from talking in class. Just tap into your human empathy. Connect with them on a human level. Now, I know today was difficult for everybody, but I'm so proud of the way Blackwell pulled together to save a young girl. If fucking excuse me? Of course, you're quite the hero for getting Kate to come down. Oh, I really appreciate that, Principal. I didn't do much. She's modest. Like a real hero. Yeah. Real hero. Pardon me? As principal What's of Blackwell his problem? Academy, I take my duties seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen. As our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not. And that is indeed your responsibility. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Disco Gypsy Fish. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your Yo, to be doing, honest, Mr. Jefferson didn't do Kate too much here. has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was he, he was kind of, a, he was callous, but I can't Mr. put too Prescott, much blame on him. Since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last now, party, this guy's got to face the reckoning. You'll have to answer some more questions. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the roof with Kate Marsh? Did she tell you her plan? Her or plan? Anything at all? Please tell us everything. Ooh, this is, uh, 
This is a tough one. Well, the proximate cause was not Mr. Jefferson. Wasn't even David. I think we got to expose Nathan. He's he's like patient zero for this Kate situation. All I know is that Kate was at a party and Nathan dosed her. She got wasted and kissed some boys on a viral video without a clue. I dosed her? <laughs> without a clue. Have you seen the video? Whatever. Kate was loaded and You're a liar. The field. You told Kate you took her to the emergency room. I said I was going to take her to the ER. She sobered up eventually. Bullshit. Something happened to her and you know it. How about we talk about you waving a gun in the oh, girl's hand? Oh, I don't know about That's that one. That's total slander. I could sue you and this school so fast. I already have a personal lawyer. Oh, good Wait, for you. Max. You told me that nothing happened yesterday. Are you just making things we up? We gotta stick to our guns How now. How can I trust you? You can't. She's smoking and selling dope. David, we had a moment. Lives. No, I'm not. And that has nothing to do we with We had a rapport, Martin. David. I'll have to investigate to see if this accusation is true. Therefore, Max, I'm obliged to contact your parents and suspend you for a few days. Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and student just tried to kill herself. They don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my family. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. I'm signing. My head is killing me, but I think I can use my power again. I'm signing. Doesn't bother me. Yeah, save someone's life, get punished, whatever. I'm signing it. I don't want to, I'm not, I mean, David is being really unsympathetic right now, but what am I supposed to do? Oh, David bullied her. Well, we can at least go back and we can test, I guess. I did read the contract. It just says line, 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 and then there's an X for the signature. David bullied her. Mr. Madsen was bullying Kate. Oh, grow Excuse up. Excuse me, I was there. I saw you getting in her face. You have no idea what you saw. Kate Marsh was involved with a bad crowd. I was trying to find out who. Kate had a double life. I was super shocked when I found out. No, you were part of the crowd. And like I said, I personally saw David physically harass Kate Marsh. You lying little Shh. Are you gonna take this junkie's word over your security officer? I know she smokes and deals what? marijuana. That has nothing to do with Kate. Max, I'm afraid this won't be solved here without proof and a thorough investigation. Now, if you have anything else to say. Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and student just tried. Caulfield? Nah. Okay, we gotta examine all the paths. It seemed like there was a hook there. I have a question. I saw Mr. Jefferson talking to Kate right before our class. Then she ran off crying. Mark, I do know that Miss Marsh has assisted you on class events. Kate, Miss Marsh has been very withdrawn lately. I assume this awful video was the cause. I hated seeing the students laugh at her. She told me Max was the only one who believed her, would take her calls and actually listen to her. It's true. She shouldn't have asked to be on video macking with some dudes. You ass! She didn't ask for any of this. No, on the contrary. Max was right to bring this up. Now, I wanted to help, but I guess I was too late. Well, now this is probably Seems like he's defending himself. The publicity is rising and He's perhaps deflecting. You shouldn't represent Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes contest in San Francisco. Are you serious? Well, that seems like a little... I am. We don't need any negative press about that event. And we need to involve the Academy in possible disciplinarian measures for you. I understand it. There are bigger things at stake than me. The life of a young girl, for one. Okay. 
Then maybe you should investigate other staff members. Max told me she knew things about Mr. Madsen. Let Max speak for herself. Everything we talked about here will be looked into. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation. I mean, out of all of these, it does seem like the best. Plus, we don't get suspended. Um, plus, we don't get ratted out for dealing. And maybe we maintain a better relationship with the stepfather, which could help us out in some Chloe situations in the future. Well, I think we know less now than when we started. What are you we'll talking about? The police with further How about a thank you? I know this has been a stressful Did you day. see the QTE God the save Kate Marsh? And you're all good. You're, so oh, well, things are sure complicated here. I couldn't even believe it was happening. It was literally slow motion as I grabbed her hand. And then I could feel her grabbing mine. Max, that was the greatest thing I've ever seen. Ever! You reached out, she reached out, hugs, tears, applause, like a superhero. Not quite. Look at me. I'm a mess. It's totally like that scene from the Yes Man. A human halo. I'm pretty sure you earned your wings today. I'm still worried about Kate. She did try to kill herself. <laughs> All over a video. Viral is the right word. Like a disease. So you watched it? Just one. And a half times. Warren, I don't mean to sound weird, but... It's pretty creepy, Warren. Um, Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected. Admitting to, to it is somehow really bad. Watching it in the first Mr. place, Madsen. bad. A big conspiracy guy. But I Willfully admitting to watching it more than once, mad a creepy. Dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? What the hell is this? The weather confirms this weird day. I feel that chill. Just a surprise Max, solar eclipse. Scheduled today. I would know. I would. Nah, I don't like that. Mere moments ago, you admitted to watching I'll the girl I just saved. Her sex tape. Yeah, you're right. You probably should not be looking at it. I gotta see the percentages after this one, man. This is okay. This is a good thing. They're reconciling. He's like, I almost messed up real bad at my job today. He's showing a human side. There's nothing wrong with that. I don't know what Mr. Jefferson's doing, but he's freaking me out a little bit with his movements. Come on, dude, I just need an ounce. I know I wasn't that cool to you back at the school, but at the same time... You know what? You're being a real dick right now, Mr. Jefferson. Also, is my dude driving a Bentley? What kind of school is this? What are you cheesed about? I hope this is a period of self-reflection. I don't understand this one right here. This vignette I don't get. Frank kind of redeeming himself, even though we know nothing about him except he's like crazy. And the neck tattoo. He loves his dog, and that's worth something. It's worth something. Animals have been symbolic so far. Things are looking up for Kate Marsh. This is okay. This is a necessary step. Oh, were you too busy stopping your friend from killing herself to give me a little text? I sent you why 
I say you WYD question mark. No reply for 15 minutes? Yeah, max is 10 out of 10. Can't be stopped. Everybody else is a big question mark right now. But Max is like an actual god. Max is a 4 out of 10. What is wrong with you? Excuse me? Creepy. Wasn't that... That was David... David Madsen's situation. He's making a dossier. told Kate to go to the police. 33. You answered Kate's call. What fucking monsters are not answering Kate's call? Look at this. 19% of you. What are you doing? 19% of you didn't answer the call from your depressed friend when you were doing anything else? This is the most mad I've ever been. Like, there were some decisions in this one that I was like, you know. I, I do take issue with the fact that 74% of people comforted Victoria. I don't think that's realistic. But the fact that 19% of people didn't pick up the phone call is outrageous. Look, the police and wait for proof. That, that's you see, people say I have no heart. I'm an emotionally intuitive person, okay? I understand, though, if you're an analytical, if you're a logical person, you go here and you go, 67%, we got to wait for proof. I understand that. I knew what she needed in the moment, though. You answered Kate's call. That's no question. You got to go for that one. Didn't try to shoot Frank. I'll even cut you some slack here. 5248. I understand. You think you're defending your friend, but it's a terrible thing to shoot somebody, even if they are offering a threat. If you can avoid the violence do so especially considering you can travel back through time you save kate's life 62 percent. i'm very very happy that's good and then this thing is still a wild card i got no idea anybody else played it yet maybe bears played it i'm not sure it looks like i've, I've had six friends play it they're pretty much on on par with me although they were blaming jason and a little bit less, uh, man, they've really waited for proof. You can tell. I got some analytical friends. 87%. How do I have 1%? Something's not right here. I'm a little confused. But anyway. It says that not saved. I know. That's why I'm, I am disappointed here. Maybe going back in time messes with the stats. It is possible. This is Josh. <laughs> World stats, please. Well. Let's see what happens next time. All right. Episode 3, Chaos Theory. Dude, real talk. Wait, was there a next thing there? One second. Next. Oh, that's right. You didn't water your plan. Maybe we should have. We helped Alyssa. You erased the link to Kate's video. That's easy. You were friendly with Taylor. I can understand why people would choose not to be friendly with Taylor. You didn't write a message. I didn't even see the chance, so that's my bad. You tampered with the railroad tracks. Uh-oh, that might have some problems later. You helped Warren. You didn't help Warren. You told on David to Mr. Jefferson. Anyway. No, I gotta... After this stream, I have to go uh, record some Battlegrounds with the boys, so we gotta finish this up. I'm glad we finished uh, in time, though, but it is a little bit on the shorter side today. Um, Episode 2... I liked, there were some dramatic moments, and I, I liked it, actually. The middle of the episode, with the, uh, 
the bottle solving puzzle and the gun stuff and then the train was just very bad in my opinion like Prometheus level uh, Chloe was being a moron if I would I would be given this episode a hearty two thumbs up were it not for Chloe you know stretching the bounds of realism with her idiocy but apart from that I had a good time uh, I thought this was a dramatic episode and genuinely I felt exhilarated uh, when I when I nailed those conversational setups at the end there I, I felt like the stakes were high and I think I did a, I think it did a good job there to be honest with you but uh, yeah I'm still I'm still on board with life is strange it dipped a little bit in the middle apart from that I had a good time and things are continuing to get uh, interesting